Let's start this video with a variation of the ever popular game of mini tennis that's designed to help players develop quick and agile hands. Have two players hit a ball cooperatively back and forth with one bounce in the service boxes. To develop quick hands and increase their ball control, have each pass their own racket in a full circle around their bodies and then hit the next ball. As the players advance, have them try this same exercise from the baseline. To challenge them even further, how about two racket circles? Now that looks like a lot of fun. Now let's move to a game-based exercise that gets players to add extra focus and momentum, a key issue in successful tennis. In this game, have two players compete, but score only the server's points, as in volleyball. In other words, if the server wins the point, he or she continues serving. However, if the receiver wins the point, no point would be scored, but the receiver would regain the serve. As long as the server wins the point, he or she would alternate serving to the deuce court and then the add court. This game works as well for doubles as it does for singles, and it is an ideal exercise to automatically increase player focus and concentration. Ever wonder how to speed up your reflexes and reactions? This next drill can automatically help. After the serve, both players are not allowed to step behind the baseline or outside the singles sidelines. Play sets and you will see that this forces a great deal of additional movement and anticipation. Plus, more balls will be taken aggressively and on the rise. However, with this rule in place, you may want to limit the number of lobs to one lob per point for each player, or perhaps just two lobs per game. Another variation is to perform the same game, but restrict play to the diagonal. You can play it on the deuce court cross court, or, if you like, try it with the add court cross court as well. 